Good evening, 47. Hey everybody, welcome to our Heartbreaker Elusive Target Guide where we are going to show you multiple ways to get Silent Assassin including a 20 second sniper run. You can pick and choose the method which works for you depending on the items you have. All the timestamps are down in the description below so you can jump around as much as you want. The target's a serial killer and he'll have his two potential victims, two women who are following him around his loop from the outdoor dance floor area of Mendoza to the wine concierge area to the downstairs movie theater and this is the loop they go around. Not far from here in the parking area is a truck inside of which is evidence. If you get this evidence and give it to one of the two women, they will leave the target and you'll be able to get to him alone. Three entry points we'll use are the parking lot, the winery viewpoint and the shrine. Two main exits but we'll avoid the vineyard exit because there's now a guard posted there. Also to use the shrine exit you need to have the requiem suit so probably just best to have this equipped from the start. Okay, so our first method, silent assassin suit only with no gear. We want to start in the parking lot for this one. And as soon as you start, head into this little roundabout area. Just at this corner is going to be an invitation. Grab that. Now I'll show you a trick to get into the roof of this trailer. Keep spamming your vault button as you're going up the stairs and you'll jump to the top of it. Take a left, jump down and grab the brick, very important. Keep heading straight. There are going to be guards on your left. You're going to make your way all the way to the end, past the last car. Take a left and head over to where the white van is. Now that white van is the killer van. And inside you're going to find the evidence, the scalpel and the lethal poison. Sometimes you may need to hide a little bit more in this area if the guards are close. But as long as you keep looking around to make sure you know where these patrolling guards are, you should be fine. Now again... You want to get through this area with as much stealth as possible. It's tricky but worth practicing. There's only these two guards here you have to worry about. The other guards don't tend to come back here. Now this is the only run I'm going to show you the whole playthrough from beginning to end. And the others, you know, we will just cut back and forth. But it's all the same. So as you're heading back up here, quickly turn left immediately and jump down. And you want to vault over this wall close to the cactus. Now you're going to head for the dance floor entrance which is on the right hand side here. You're going to show the guy your invitation, he's going to let you through. And if you did all this fast enough, if you see the timer, it's about 1 minute 30 seconds, you should be able to catch the killer and the two uh, victims right here. You see these two women, they are the victims. Now go and give the evidence to either one of them. Yeah, just press your button to give evidence as soon as you do. They will separate from him. And now I'm heading for the movie theater which is on the ground floor. So just heading for those stairs. Now remember, elusive target is not freelancer. You can restart the mission as many times as you want. As long as the target is not been killed yet. If the target is still alive, you can restart, replan, do whatever you want. Okay. So just remember that if you mess up, you can restart. If you want to practice something, if you get spotted, if you lose silence, you can still do it. Okay, so now here we just entered the movie theater, take a sharp left, head up the stairs. And here's the trickiest part in this mission. You're going to need to throw the brick right where I'm about to throw it to distract the two workers and the guard who are in this area. Alright, you see there's another woman on the right hand side there. First, distract these guys. Head up. The woman shouldn't see you if you're fast. Poison the drink. And just get out of there as fast as you can. Now, this is the riskiest part of this strategy and something which makes me not recommend this strategy. But, you know, now you're done. I'm just showing you in the top right hand side, like in a picture in picture fashion from a different playthrough, what's happening with the target. So he's coming down the stairs, he's going to go drink the poison and he should be killed while you are already on your way out because you've, you've, you've won. Now I'm using the winery viewpoint exit which is where the car is and that's what we're going to use wow the guy went flying all right so that is our no gear playthrough but again you know because of that risky poisoning strategy with the guards there i don't think it's worth it what i would do is bring a weapon you know or you can even use the scalpel you got from the van because if you just wait long enough after separating the women and he's alone in the movie theater he's going to go to the bottom of the stairs and walk around alone here giving you Plenty of time to shoot him, cut him with the scalpel, fiber wire him, or even use your hands and break his neck. And then put his body in the crate and you're done. That's method two. 
Now method 3 involves one disguise change and this will make your life a whole lot easier. So start in the winery viewpoint um, location, head straight to the gates here with their two guards. Just get behind the first one, knock him out and slowly walk up in the second one, knock him out. The angle can be a bit tricky here but you'll get it. You take his clothes, this is the elite bodyguard disguise, drag him to the gate. And now from here you're going to do a long run, just stick to the left side of the map. And you're going to head to the parking lot. Just jump over the fence, head to the white van, grab the evidence, the scalpel, the lethal poison. Make sure you grab the lethal poison in this one. Now you're going to head for the guy who waits for an invitation, but you don't need to give him an invitation because you're a guard. So I gave her the evidence there. She's going to separate from him. Here I'm showing you the route inside the convention center of running all the way to the stairs with a guard. Go down and the bottom of the stairs is going to be the poison. Poison the drink, you're done. Just get out of the map. Silent Assassin. Next method, bring a remote emetic gas device inside a briefcase. The first thing you want to do is put the device inside the briefcase. You need to take it out, put it in there in order to arm it. Then grab the invitation next to this guy. You're going to show the invitation to the concierge. He's going to let you pass. And now head for the first big double doors on your left. This is the wine concierge area where you can wait for the target. You can slow down the ladies like I'm doing here a little bit. You don't really need to. As soon as you get next to the target, activate the poison. This will make him sick. And he's going to head for the closest bathroom, which is just here on the left. Okay, again, I'm going to just show you where exactly we are. This is the desk for the concierge. You want to wait here for your target and just drown the heartbreaker for an easy silent assassin suit only. Honestly, the remote emetic gas device in a briefcase really makes missions extremely easy and you should be using it quite often if you have it. Now, we're going to start in the shrine. Make sure you have the requiem suit. We're going to use the remote micro taser or the breaching charge for this one. I'll show you both methods. When you start, make sure you grab the propane tank which is right behind the shrine. Now you're going to follow the path which is outside this shrine all the way towards those stairs going down to the movie theater. There's a door on the right here which you can pick. In, I'll show you in the top right hand side of the screen here what will happen if you go into the corridors. You can grab an elite bodyguard disguise from the locker room if you choose. But we are just going to wear our suit and keep going down until we get to the area where the movie theater is. If you don't give evidence to the women, they'll stick with him and uh, the target and the two victims will be walking around the movie theater and eventually the guy will leave the two women to come out to this bench over here. Here's where you're gonna set your trap. Now throwing the propane will cause it to leak. You can drop your remote micro taser next to it and whenever you see the target, you can trigger an explosion. You can also put a breaching charge right here and the trash can. You can either throw your propane tank or I'm going to show you something a bit different. Placing it carefully right next to the breaching charge and using a silence pistol, a Krugerman in this case, to cause the leak. You know, that's a safe area to shoot from. Here, just wait for your target to go near the leaking propane and that's an accident kill. Remember, this won't happen if you use micro explosives or remote explosive. It has to be the propane because that is what makes it count as an accident and the body found doesn't count. Now this shrine exit which I'm heading to will only show up if you're wearing the requiem suit so make sure you're doing that. Okay now this here is a fun little trap. I have a briefcase to draw the target right next to a leaking propane but then out of sight and hidden there is a proximity taser which I attach to the wall. The idea is the briefcase will draw him down towards the leaking propane which when he's in proximity will trigger the taser giving you a nice accident kill. That's a fun one. And honestly, you could go to the movie theater straight from the start, set this up and leave. You don't even need to wait to watch the explosion. Very easy. And now finally, the infamous sniper kill. You want to start now winery viewpoint. Make sure you bring a sniper which is not ultra high damage. So you don't want to bring a Seeger ghost or something which will kill target in one shot. A Seeger 3000, uh, any of the other lower end silent sniper rifle with 3 times zoom should be good enough. And the reason we don't want to bring an ultra high damage sniper is because we're going to need to shoot uh, NPC to kind of create a panic or distraction so that people don't see the target's body when you actually kill him. Okay, so the key thing here is to be fast. Skip the cinematic, immediately run to the right until you get to this gap. Pull your sniper rifle out, aim down. Like he's going to be in the ground floor here. You're going to shoot one of the NPCs to distract everybody in the region. Everybody's going to be panicked. Here I missed actually, but I get him with the second shot. 
Just drop the sniper rifle, turn around and go for the exit. Make sure you're fast so that that green silent assassin doesn't turn red. Well, I hope you enjoyed this elusive target guide. Pick whichever method works well for you, whatever you're comfortable with based on what items you have. Please remember to like and subscribe. We appreciate it so much. Thank you once again to all of you for watching and we'll see you next time.